topic of this video is working with the properties of logarithms. Logarithms have some very useful properties that can be derived directly from the definition and the laws of exponents. For example, what is log base a of 1? Using our knowledge that a logarithm is just a missing exponent, we can state that log base a of 1 is the exponent that goes on base a to make 1. In other words, it is the missing exponent in the equation a raised to the question mark equals 1. Using our knowledge of exponent rules, we recall that any non-zero number raised to the zero power is 1. Since a is a base and therefore a non-zero number, a base must be positive and not equal to 1. The value of the question mark is 0. Therefore, the value of the missing exponent is 0. Therefore, log base a of 1 equals 0. This gives us a property of logarithms. Several other properties are derived in your textbook. Let's look at some of those properties now. Properties of logarithms. In the list that follows, a, b, capital M, capital N, and R are real numbers. Also, A is greater than 0, A is not equal to 1. B is greater than 0, B is not equal to 1. Capital M is greater than 0, and capital N is greater than 0. Here are the 12 properties we will be discussing. Property 1 is the definition. Y equals log base A of X means x equals a to the y power. This is our converter that we learned in previous videos. Property 2. Log base a of 1 equals 0. Property 3. Log base a of a equals 1. Property 4. a raised to the power log base a of m equals m. Property 5 log base a of a to the r power equals r. Property 6, log base a of the product mn equals log base a of m plus log base a of n. Property 7, log base a of the quotient m over n equals log base a of m minus log base a of n. Property 8, the change of base formula. Log base A of M equals log base B of M over log base B of A. Property 9, log base A of M to the R power equals R times log base A of M. Property 10, A to the X power equals E to the power x times the natural log of a. Property 11. If m equals n, then log base a of m equals log base a of n. Property 12. If log base a of m equals log base a of n, then m equals n. You will be expected to memorize these 12 properties. However, you will find that you will use them so often that memorizing them is actually a very easy task. So we begin our discovery of these properties by completing problems that allow us to learn how to use not just one property, but any of the 12 properties.